guys, what is going on? Mystic Designs here, or Daniel, and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you guys. Uh, what we're gonna learn today is using Trim Pass to make lines go across the shape and behind. Um, this is really easy to do and it shouldn't take us long. So, uh, before I go into the tutorial, I just want to show you guys an example of what we're gonna do today. So, um, here it is. And there it was again. So basically, we're gonna do this line um, going across our square and behind it, and um, it looks personally really good. So, yeah, guys, let's go into tutorial. So I'm just gonna do a new project, and um, I'm gonna do another composition. So new composition, and uh, I'm gonna call this tutorial. And um, for the duration, I'm just gonna do 10 seconds, and also the background color, I'm just gonna leave it as black. So. Now that we got our composition, we're gonna make a square. So let's do a new layer uh, and make it a shape layer. And now because this is gonna be a square, um, let's rename this square. Um, it's a good habit to always name your layers just to be organized while you're working. So now that we got a square, we're gonna go into the rectangle tool and um, we're gonna press shift to make it a square, not a rectangle, and um, just drag it out. So we got here a square. And um, as you see, I don't have a fill, but we can fix that right away by pressing Alt and do clicking the fill. And uh, we don't want to stroke though, so we're going to press Alt on the stroke and go until we have this red line, which means no stroke. So now that we're done with that, we're just going to leave the square alone. No animations for this tutorial. What we're uh, focusing on is the line. So we're going to make another layer um, and again a shape layer. But this time we're gonna call this a uh, line. And this uh, shape is gonna be used with a pen tool. So press uh, G or pen tool. And um, I'm just gonna zoom in here a bit. But uh, you don't really have to, it's your personal opinion. So now that we're ready to do the uh, shape, we're gonna click on the start or the high uh, end of the square. And that's one point. And then we're gonna do our second point at the bottom over here, almost like a diagonal line. So once you press this, drag your mouse down until you see kind of like a arc or a rounded um, line. And uh, this gonna this is gonna make it look um, like it's going behind the square. But now we do not want to fill. So again, press Alt and uh, go until you have a no fill but press on the stroke and do whatever color you want. I'm just gonna leave it pink. So now, um, if we look at this, we can see we got a line going across the square. Now, what we wanna do now is animate this. So we're gonna go into add and trim paths. And um, we're gonna now uh, go under trim paths and bring the end down to zero. Um, and now for the keyframing, I suggest about a tenth of a second to make it short. If it's too long, it's not going to look clean. But if it's too short also, it's not going to make it look good. So uh, now we're going to do press a, a keyframe on, we're going to make a keyframe on the start and the end. And we're going to go about a tenth of a second, like that's about right. And bump all these two up to a hundred. And now if we play that back, you cannot see an animation and that's because we then fully keyframe the end of the trim pads so what you want to do is move this keyframe right here about not that far away from the top one and um, now if we play that back we can see we got the animation uh, now you're probably asking why did you move the last keyframe uh, this keyframe shows us how much we want the animation or the line to show while it's animation animating my bad and um, so now, once if we play that back again, we can see our animation. And guys, that was it. It was so simple, uh, but it's such a great effect to um, include in your intros. So if you like this tutorial, please give it a like since it helps me out a bunch. If you want to see another tutorial, just drop down a comment saying what you want to see in the next tutorial. I'm going to be glad to make that tutorial for you guys. Plus, it, it's fun and it's gonna help all of us um, out. Plus, um, I just wanna say that this tutorial was suggested by a good friend of mine called Zoom Arts. 
he's a graphic designer and a really good one. Um, his style is just so clean and amazing. So, uh, guys, check him out. Uh, his link is in the description below. But guys, this was Mystic Designs or Daniel, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next tutorial or intro. So yeah, guys.